brain tech here where tech is made simple. So we've been talking about Windows 24H2 or a possible Windows 12 on this channel now for some time. And I posted on this earlier this month where there were references to the Windows 11 24H2 update in HP's spec sheet for its new Spectra lineup of laptops. Now I'll leave that video down below if you'd like more info. And my reason for mentioning that video is because it ties in with today's video. Because I titled that video, Windows 11 24H2 should be released this year, but will Windows 12? And a little bit more information now has surfaced. And I know there are quite a few of you who are following a possible Windows 12 release. So I did say I would keep you updated because there have been rumors that have suggested that Microsoft could release Windows 12 this year. But now according to a recent report by Windows Central, according to their sources, apparently it is now suggested that this won't be the case now after all. Now, before we have a look um, at the new um, information that has so-called come to light, just to backtrack a little. Currently, Windows 11 is Microsoft's flagship OS. We have Windows 10, but over the last two years or so, Microsoft has been focusing a lot more on Windows 11, as many of you will know, which has already received two feature updates. Version 22H2, which rolled out in the latter half of 2022, and late last year, we received version 23H2, which is the current stable version. Now, according to this post by Windows Central, which I'll leave down below if you want a more kind of wider overview of what we're talking about today. Unlike version 23H2 from last year, version 24H2 is expected to be a much larger operating system update based on a new version of the Windows platform that's going to be bringing performance and security improvements and also is expected to focus a lot more heavily on next generation artificial intelligence, which as many of you will know, and Microsoft has been testing and working on over the last year because already we have Copilot for Windows 11, also been pushed out to Windows 10. And Microsoft is pushing Copilot into basically all its different apps and services. So Microsoft's focus for the next update for Windows is going to be AR, as we have been talking about. Now, currently Copilot on Windows 11 is still in preview. So in effect, it's still in beta. So there are rumors that are now suggesting that um, we are going to be getting a new advanced Copilot, which is going to be more integrated into the shell of Windows. And your shell is explorer.exe. So that would be your taskbar, your start menu, your search and file explorer and so on. So this is where Windows 12 comes in. And as we've been talking about on the channel, there have been predictions that Microsoft could end up calling this update Windows 12 for one or two reasons. The first is because of the advanced AR, because um, there were rumors that the next generation of Windows is going to be more advanced with more AR features. And um, that's why it was uh, expected to be called Windows 12. And also because of the three-year release cycle. And this uh, year, um, October 2024, September, October 2024, will be three years since uh, Microsoft rolled out version 21H2 of Windows 11, which was the original release. But back to the point. So that's the first reason. Then the second reason is because um, Windows 12 was expected to be timed with the next generation AR PCs and experiences. As I mentioned in the previous video, which are HP's um, new Spectra lineup. And there's also the f uh, first Surface devices of 2024, which are also going to be more focused on AR. And by the way, just on a side note, I did post a video um, uh, just a couple of days ago that Windows AR PCs may need a minimum of 16 gigabytes of RAM in the future. But I'll leave that down below if you'd also like to play catch up and get more info. So now, apparently, according to this rumor and Windows Central sources, it's unlikely now that Windows 12 is going to roll out. And the main reason is because Panos Panay has left Microsoft, who is now the ex-Windows chief. So according to Windows Central's um, sources, for now, um, it seems like Microsoft is just going to call this um, next major Windows 11 update, Windows 11 24H2 and not Windows 12. Now, Microsoft is currently testing some of the features we are expecting to roll out uh, in the next version of Windows in the Canary channel. 
And if you want more information on those features, just do a search on the channel for Windows 11 Canary channel and you will see a good couple of videos where um, they are testing and working on up and coming features, which we are expecting now to be rolling out in the latter half of this year with version 24H2. Now, according to um, Windows Central, Microsoft is planning to roll out 24H2 in September of this year, um, 2024. Obviously, that would be in late September and then rolling into October and November, which they normally do with their feature updates. And because version 24H2 will be based on a new version of the Windows platform um, called Germanium, um, it is expected that the new release of the Windows platform means that the update will be installed using the OS swap method. And in case you were unaware what that is, is an OS swap update um, is applied by replacing the entire operating system. So it's not just going to be a cumulative update. That's why I said 24H2 is going to be a much bigger update than 23H2. So basically it replaces the entire operating system with a newer version. And as mentioned, that's different from version 23H2, which was just a cumulative update. And 24H2 won't begin rolling out until the second half of this year. And some um, ARPCs will begin shipping with version 24H2 preloaded as early as June, according to Windows Central. But uh, the 24H2 update won't be made generally available to um, existing Windows 11 users like myself and most of you who view this channel un until September at the earliest when the update is basically ready for public release. So that's the latest. I said I'd keep you posted. I know this is a bit long-winded, but I have just collated that whole post, which will be down below. And I know a lot of you were expecting, including myself, a possible Windows 12, but currently it doesn't seem so. And it looks now there's a strong possibility that Windows 12 will not be released this year. And instead, Microsoft um, will release a major update for Windows 11 version 24H2, which is going to be a major update, a much larger update compa compared to 23H2. And like all things with Microsoft, though, at this stage, though, there's no actual confirmation from Microsoft on any of this. We have had references for Windows 12 and we have, re have had references for version 24H2, but Microsoft has actually said nothing. And as I say with Microsoft, this is the latest. And obviously with Microsoft, I always say only time will tell and things could change. So this isn't cast in stone, so to speak. But this is the latest. But at this stage, because we are already moving into the end of January, it seems unlikely that a brand new OS called Windows 12 will roll out this year. And instead, Microsoft will focus on pushing out a major update, Windows 11 version 24H2. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.